So while day two was about a bystander cell phone video, day three was definitely about officer body cam video. And we finally heard from the spark that ignited the flame that is this case, the clerk from the convenience store that spotted the fake $20 bill. And you're going to learn all about it in today's episode. I'm Joshua Roberts, attorney at law, and you are watching Lawyer Up. As we continue to cover the case of the state of Minnesota versus Derek Chauvin, we are at day three in summarizing each day's events at the trial. Now, on day three, we're going to look at never before seen footage, security footage from inside and outside of the convenience store where everything went down. Plus, we're going to take a look at the body cam video from the officers. And then there were two big witnesses. Number one was the convenience store clerk uh, that spotted the fake $20 bill. And then there was an elderly bystander who actually spoke and said words to George Floyd and then confronted Officer Chauvin as he was leaving. Remember to like comment, subscribe, and share. And hey, if you'd rather listen to us on a podcast, we're available on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify, and Anchor, amongst other podcast sites. So the state started day three by calling two additional bystander witnesses, and they echoed what the Witnesses in previous days had stated that the crowds grew increasingly restless as the officers continued to pin down George Floyd. Then the state called a police lieutenant who was simply there to lay the foundation, the evidentiary foundation for the admission of the officer's body cam videos. Then the state showed some never before seen footage of George Floyd inside the convenience store. You could see George Floyd, he was laughing, he was talking, he was even dancing during part of the video. And he's a big, muscular dude. But what you can tell is that he was in very good health. But what you can tell is that he was in very good health. On the video, you can even see him buying the cigarettes with the fake $20 bill. And you see the clerk holding it up and examining it in the light. And it's that clerk, that clerk was the spark that ignited the powder keg that is the Black Lives Matter movement as it pertains to George Floyd. His name is Christopher Martin. He was 19 at the time. He was the Cup Foods cashier who spotted the fake bill. And he took the stand and he testified and he said it was store policy that if a clerk accepted a bad bill, that it came out of their paycheck. Nonetheless, even though he knew that the bill was fake, he took it. He could have rejected it, but he took it. In fact, he didn't say anything to anybody until Floyd left the store. Now, he did testify that he thought Floyd was high at the time, so it's understandable why he may not have wanted to confront Floyd about the bill. So when Martin goes back and he reports the bad 20 to his manager, the manager actually makes him go outside to confront Floyd about it, which he does. He goes out, Floyd sitting in his car there at the curb and they have a conversation. So Martin testifies that Floyd won't come back into the store and he won't pay for the cigarettes. And so the store, well, they call the cops, right? And the cops come rolling up, And then things kind of shifted to the state showing the body cam footage from the officers. And the cam footage, it showed uh, them dragging George Floyd out of his car. They cuffed him. And then he's kind of, uh, he's flopping around. He's going limp, basically. He's, you know, passive resistance is what they call it. He's just kind of going limp. Certainly not helping the officers cuff him. And then you see on the video the officers unsuccessfully trying to stuff a big old limp George Floyd into the squad car, and it just didn't work. So at this point, the Cup Food employees, they have come out of the store, and the external surveillance video shows that Martin, who reported the bill, he's watching what's going down with George Floyd, and he's obviously anxious. He puts his kind of his hands on his head, and you can see he was somewhat in distress. And it was about this time when a 61-year-old man by the name of Charles McMillian, he tried to intervene. You see him on the surveillance video, and he testified at trial. 
He said he was telling George Floyd to comply. He was telling him to get in the car, and he said he screamed at him, you can't win. McMillian further testified that he became concerned as Officer Derek Chauvin continued to grind his knee into the neck, and he recalled George Floyd calling out for his mother. One video that was played showed a crowd of onlookers that were yelling at the officers to let Floyd up. The audio captured Officer Tao yelling back, this is why you don't do drugs, kids. Then the focus switched to a tearful McMillian who ultimately testified that he actually confronted Derek Chauvin as he was leaving that day, got in front of him and confronted him about how he had treated George Floyd and Chauvin's body cam caught the interaction in the audio response and Chauvin defended what he did. And he said, quote, we've got to control this guy because he's a sizable guy and he looks like he's probably on something. Then Chauvin got in his car and drove away. Interestingly, both Martin and McMillian, they testified that they knew when the paramedics rolled out of there, they said they both knew in their hearts that Floyd was dead at that time. And that concludes day three of the trial. That's the episode. I hope that you liked it. Subscribe to the channel so we can keep up with the information each day as this fascinating trial rolls forward. I appreciate you watching. My name is Joshua Roberts, and you've been watching A Lawyer Up. Send lawyers, guns, and money.